All right, so we're here at Sigma with Brian Linoff, and we've got a few new lenses that we want to talk about. Actually, these two are available now, and this one is brand new, and this is coming in December. So let's talk about the uh, the range here. We've got all the focal ranges we need to be a proficient professional photographer. So what do we got here? Yeah, so we just came out with uh, announced. It'll be shipping pretty soon, probably around December-ish time. The new 70 to 200 28 kind of completes the three lens set for a lot of pros would use. You got a 14 to 24 28 where that pick leaves off. We got a 24 70 28, and then rounding that out is you know a 70 to 200. With those three lenses, you could pretty much shoot almost anything. Not everything, but you know, um, you know, photojournalism, portrait photographers. You know, you got your wide angle to do big group shots, do some landscape stuff. You got your event shooting, you got your wedding shooting, portraits, so it's just a great combination to kind of round out that kind of 2.8 zoom collection of, of ours. So this has been, uh, one, we're considering this a sport lens, completely weather sealed, really fast autofocus, work for wildlife, nature, sports. The 70 to 200, as you know, is just one of the most versatile lenses out there. And no matter what type of photography you do, this is kind of one of the go-to lenses in almost every pro's bag. So, yeah, Absolutely. In addition to all the primes that you have, the art lenses, which have been really, really popular uh, as they were introduced in the last couple of years. So these will be really nice for a lot of people who are looking to upgrade their glass uh, but don't want to go for the uh, initial you know, Canon or Nikon. This is something that they can go for for image quality that meets or exceeds that, right? Definitely. Uh, we think we're very competitive with the best of the best out there. Um, the way we test and quality control our, our gear, we test everything on 50 megapixel sensors when it comes out of the factory. So everything's developed for high resolution to give the best quality out there. Um, there's a reason why pros are turning to us. You know, the quality's there, but there's also an affordability that you're not getting from other manufacturers. So there's an excellent balance there. So. All right, now, uh, of course, these are available for Canon and Nikon and Sigma mounts. Now, lots of people, of course, are asking, when are the Sony mount zooms coming? Is this going to happen, or are we just, uh, you know, talking into the wind here? I can only quote my CEO and says it's happening. That's, that's all I can quote. That's all I know. Um, our, our president, uh, our CEO, Kazuto Yamaki, he's, uh, he, he said what we're working on and developing. The, it's a life. It's a cycle. Um, traditionally speaking, it takes about three years to develop a lens. Sometimes that can be accelerated or, or, or let down. But when you think of where mirrorless was three years ago, that's when we had to develop it. It's only probably in the last year and a half, two years that it's just blown up so big. So uh, we're definitely developing it. We have the L mount alliance, which we're going to be a part of. If you're not familiar with that, yes. where you know we'll have our own cameras with a mirrorless mount. So I. We're going to be developing lenses for that also, okay. so there's there's a lot going on. It's an exciting time to be part of Sigma. So all right, so pretty much any uh, manufacturer, any camera that you have, almost all of them will have a Sigma lens for them available at some point. Uh, yes, I, the the big ones I don't know about now. I can't speak to would be Fuji, Canon, the Canon R, or the Nikon Z. So I know we'll do L mount. And I've been told, at least according to the boss, is uh, we will have E-mount, dedicated E-mount zooms. It's uh, just a matter of time. All right, so we've got one more lens that we wanted to take a look at. It is the, actually, before we take a look at that, let's look a look at the Boca Master, right? This is the uh, 105 1.4. Yes. That's available for Canon and Nikon as well. And, and actually Sony e yeah. It's the Boca Master. It's a 500 1.4. It is just simply stunning. Is it big? Yes. Yes. We're, to be honest with you, we're unapologetically happy. It, it's big, it's large, but there's really no other lens on the market like this. Nikon does make a 500-1.4. It's a very good lens. I think ours definitely is right there with it, if not you know, a little pride in my company, if not a little bit better. But, um, you know, nothing like it for Canon, obviously nothing like it for Sony. The shallow depth of field, how it you know, like kind of pulls that compression in, it just creates some absolutely beautiful portraits. This is also a lens that we developed for our Cine lineup, so it kind of fits in within our Cine lens lineup. Uh, it uses some interesting materials. This is like uh, the hood on it. It's like we're always innovating. So this is like a carbon fiber composite. So we're like okay. we're mixing polycarbonate and carbon fiber to create a super durable hood, but it's lightweight. Um, so we're always looking to do things a little bit different, trying new processes to give a, a quality product to a customer, and so. It's large, but it's amazing. So if you can handle the weight, 
you're great. So. Nice. All right. So then we've got one more. We've got the 60 to 600. This has just been announced, and uh, this is of course available for Canon and Nikon. And uh, let's pull this one out of hiding over here. Very large, like you said, unapologetic about it, but the range that you get on this is unbelievable. I mean, 60 millimeters all the way to 600, and you can capture the eyeball of a bird many yards away, or whatever it is if you're shooting sports. This is a great lens just for that purpose. Yeah, so this this build is built off a couple of the heritage of a couple lens. So some of the build quality and, and that comes from like our 150 to 600. But also builds off the history of like a little bit older lens for us. It was called the Bigma. It was a 50 to 500. So you know we lose a little bit on the the short end, but we add 100 millimeters. So it's about a 10 times zoom, which covers full frame. It's fast. The focus um, relatively lightweight. Um, we're using magnesium. So you know to kind of do some cool new things. We built our own magnesium factory and we make our own magnesium now. So that's in the 70 to 200 to reduce the weight on that and the, the 60 to 600. It's a full sports lens, you know, close focus is like, don't quote me on this, about four to five feet. So relatively close focus, you know, so you can be at 60, get that, you know, shore bird here and then pop out the 600 and get the bird in flight. You know, you can be on the football field. You can do you know, close sideline shot and just pop all the way out down to the end zone. So just an incredibly versatile lens for your, your shooting out there. So um, and, and incredibly sharp and accurate. You know, I don't think there's any other lens out there with this type of range, with this type of quality. And all of these lenses, like you said, the quality, um, they're all made in Japan. They all have very strict quality control. I think that's one of the hallmarks of Sigma's products. So you can look forward to all of these lenses, including coming soon, the 70 to 200 2.8, as well as the 60 to 600. Are these going to be available by the end of the year? This will come out in probably about a week or two. Okay. This is about a week or two. Okay. Um, the 70 to 200, they haven't given us a hard date on that, but I've heard December. So. Well, we're looking forward to it, and when they do come out, you can get your Sigma lenses at cometa.com.